So my name is John MacDonald. I'm an architect in the Kitchener-Waterloo area. I have had a practice here for the last 22 years. I grew up in Northern Ontario, um, much like a lot of people who are active in and around Trudy and the Social Development Center, left-handers and Northern Ontarians, and we all run around together, I guess. Well, in 1994, I had a bit of an idea around founding a, a festival or an initiative that um, was about neighbors and neighborhoods. And I um, explained that idea to Karen Taylor Harrison, who um, was active in the community and still is. And Upon kind of hearing the idea, Karen said, oh, well, you know, you have to meet Trudy Bohm if you're going to think like that. And so my first introduction was to Trudy, and I don't believe at that time Trudy was executive director of the what was known as the Social Planning Council of uh, Kitchener-Waterloo. She, uh, she assumed that position later. So when I first met her, she was active in the community and active within her neighborhood, Mount Hope Bright Up, and together with Karen Taylor Harrison and Jody Murray from the Parks and Recreation Department of the City of Kitchener, we made this proposal to the city to found um, essentially uh, an ongoing festival that would ask neighbors to uh, gather together um, as neighbors in small informal neighborhoods and to kind of celebrate their, their diversity and meet each other and make connections. So that's how I first uh, was introduced to Trudy. And then as Trudy, uh, through her career, um, became executive director of the Social Planning Council, now the Social Development Center, I got in, kind of increasingly aware of the activities of the, of the center, although in a, in a peripheral way because our work has always been kind of through the Festival of Neighborhoods. Once again, the way our work in neighborhoods for the festival has dovetailed with the work and the outreach that is done by the Social Development Center has allowed me to kind of see a little bit about what it is that it does and the, and the, good, the good things that happen in the community as a result of social development. That's nice. Well, I, I think that for me, I have a conception of community, I guess, where those that can take care of themselves can take care of themselves. So where they have a voice and can stand up and be heard, that's all well and good and completely functional and wonderful and lovely. But there are many people who don't have that voice and who may lack skills, confidence, um, they might be newcomers to the community, there might be cultural and language barriers or barriers across you know, all kinds of um, fences that don't allow them to fully participate in uh, forming and shaping our community and feeling as though they, they belong and, and that their future is tied up with our common future. And so over the years I've seen social planning and social development's role as um, going to bat and providing a voice where it's needed and most importantly helping people find their voice and um, creating a kind of sense of citizenship from those that might have begun feeling disenfranchised or you know coming to neighborhood or citizenship or participation in our society um, from a disenfranchised point of view, not feeling that they belong or not feeling connected, mm -hmm. and um, just admiring very much the work of social planning and social development in terms of bringing uh, people along so that they can find their voice and uh, have it represented. So that's kind of the standout for me, I think, about the work that it does. Uh, a colleague, most certainly, uh, a mentor for me, when we first founded the festival, um, I had an idea, for instance, that every neighborhood should, um, at the finale down at City Hall, they should all bring a, a float of uh, some kind.
kind that they had constructed that sort of represented their neighborhood and that we would actually take these floats and put them in the pool in the in the fountain at city hall and have them all floating around and um, what we wanted as a kind of carrot for people to participate in this initiative was that the city of kitchener would provide a ten thousand dollar capital grant for um, a winning a winning neighborhood yeah. and i had thought originally well We'll just judge the floats, right? And like the best float will give them the prize, which will be the grant. And Trudy pretty quickly disabused me of that notion. You know, well, you know, what are we going to have? We're going to have the people hiring their float designers and spending all kinds of money on it and other neighborhoods that might not have those resources or a bunch of creative people that they can turn to. You know, um, if they're doing the best they can, why isn't that? as good an effort and why would neighborhood be viewed or judged in that in that way and so you learn and um, you, you come to a point of view about people participating um, each according to their needs and according to their abilities and that that very much was a, a kind of message from Trudy that helped shape my values uh, going forward and shape the initiative as well so just watching the consistency and the professionalism of Trudy, um, often in difficult times, because she and the Social Planning Council would be bringing a voice to the table that um, wasn't always appreciated to be, to be heard. Um, I said once regarding Trudy that, you know, when your conscience steps up to the microphone, do you appreciate that? Uh, um, that it's, it can be a tough conversation when your conscious steps up to the microphone. We're about to have a municipal election, for instance, and I know that social development is keen to ensure that voices are heard and forums are uh, uh, put together where candidates can meet those that might not be like them uh, in order to ensure that um, things are aired and points of view are brought forward and where people are vulnerable and where people are potentially disenfranchised, that that, that voice is heard and, and often in a kind of way where it isn't optional. It, it, it's not something that could simply be addressed or not, depending upon how we all feel about it. It's, uh, it's something that has to be addressed and it, it, it's a challenge that has to be met. Um, and in the last few years, everybody's got neighborhood on the brain and it's the, you know, the flavor du jour. Um, so in some ways, I think we were groundbreakers in terms of coming forward and saying, you know, the, the basic building block of, um, of our community is, is a neighborly relation, and it's a relation across diversity, not across similarity. Um, not often uh, understood. Everyone tends to understand community as getting together with people like me, mm -hmm. which I tend to term commonality not community whereas real community and real neighborliness is sort of making a connection to someone who is not like me and early on um, that wasn't well understood um, the, through the work that we did in the festival city of kitchener has been quite supportive of the ideas and um, i think um, the accent on empowering neighbors and empowering neighborhoods to um, feel that they belong and that um, their voice needs to be heard in decision making is, is coming. <laughs> it, there isn't a scorecard, I think, that's going to say that the project is done. It, it's, um, it's, it's a mission and it's a sense that social development will continue to work in the community to provide that voice, but more importantly, to help people find their voice. Um, it would be lovely if there was some sort of sunset and that was no longer needed, but I sense that that's not going to be the case. And that, um, so, so the mission is ongoing, and I guess the message is that um, that the work is worthwhile, and it will always be worthwhile, um, to identify a kind of end goal where we've eliminated something 
probably unrealistic, and if people were to take their satisfaction from that, then it, they'll have to wait a long time in order to get that satisfaction. But if those who are working with social development and social development itself are um, stepping out in the community constantly in the way that they are, then I think they should take great pride in that, and they should take satisfaction every day 